Oh, hey, what do you know? There's a camera here. <laughs> anyway, uh, my name is Coffee Freelancer here, bringing you strategies, motivation, and information for your freelancing journey. And I'm bringing you today my thoughts on the Decline Now movement. Enjoy. <laughs> My thoughts today on the Decline Now movement, which is going on within DoorDash, and I'm sure if you are a Dasher, you are quite familiar with it. But if you're not, what it is for you people that don't Dash is there's a movement, even a Facebook group, where people are, you know, joining together and they're all saying, We will not accept orders through the app that are less than $10. And I just wanted to give my thoughts on that because uh, it's starting to get kind of ridiculous. And I'll tell you why. Backed up orders and cold food. So when everyone declines low orders, the orders back up and by the time we take them, people's food gets cold. I mean, it makes sense. if. If 10 dashers get an order and they keep declining, 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 finally, by the time a dasher that's closer does take it, you know, there's a good chance the food's going to be cold. And the other thing that happens is when things get backed up, even when somebody finally does take a higher dollar order, <clears throat> it's been declined several times by other people and so by the time the food pardon me by the time the food gets there it's already cold and the person's already complaining to DoorDash saying where's my food and ultimately this just backfires on people and we don't want that and we certainly don't want our customers being like this my order was cold man this is why I don't tip anyone, ever. Man, I get all my orders from the Empire, and they're always faster than you guys. Jeez. I'm just going to stop using delivery apps. As you can see, you know, in the end, if we all decline orders, like too many, it's really just going to backfire and back up on all of us. So, you know, I understand you want to make plenty for each order, but at least try to take three or four low orders just to help your fellow dashers out. Just a few, and then go ahead and decline other ones. But if we keep the customers happy and we keep DoorDash happy, ultimately in the end we're going to be happier. And another thing, just be happy that you're in a job where you can reject like 50% of deliveries if you want to. I mean, if you deliver for Pizza Hut or work any other job where someone orders food, you can't just say, no, no, I don't, I don't feel like it today. Or in any job for that matter, when can you just be like, well, I just don't feel like it. Just be happy that you're able to do that in this job. And I do understand why people are declining orders and that's fine. But maybe just find a happy medium like me personally. I try to make sure it's $5 or higher. Um, unless it's really close, then I'll go ahead and take a $3 order. And I do try to take a few $3 orders just to get them out of the queue for the app. Because I do think that it helps everyone in the long run. Um, and I know DoorDash is going to start cracking down on declining too many orders from what I've heard so that will also backfire on people but what we all want is just for it to be good for everyone so we can all make more money and there may even they may even implement a you know a minimum tip situation um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that but I've heard that they may be raising the minimum 
that we can even get paid for an order. So that would be wonderful. But in order to get that, we all got to band together and make sure we're making happy customers. And I understand all the frustrations that come with it, trust me. But anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed this. And as always, enjoy that coffee. <clears throat> Today I'm enjoying some Death Wish coffee. Supposedly it's the most, <clears throat> the strongest caffeinated coffee that's out there. I'll be trying a new one each week. And you guys enjoy. Keep on freelancing. Have a good day.